right now we are a newbie now the more we click this part we gain we gain a level yes sir let's go okay gain another level gain another level gain another level gain another level boom now we're a casual player as you can see now let's click on this more boom now we're a pro as you can see uh let's click a bunch more times now we are a champion welcome back to another tutorial on reactive metal now it's been a while since i made a video but today we're going to be doing a new video idea and it's going to be how to make a rank name tag so rank name tag or rank title i should say is basically when you hit a certain rank or a certain milestone in a game and you get a certain title or name tag in that game for example let's say you start off as a you know it's gonna first be a name tag right so let's say we have mr mr dummy dumb here and he has a name tag right so let's say this guy's name tag is says rookie or noob, right? And then when he progresses in the game, his name tag will change to something like casual. Then when he gets really good, his name tag will change to like pro, right? Pro or godly, right? So people can know this guy is really good at the game. Now I'm gonna actually show you, I'm gonna use my, what's it called again? My previous, name tag model template thingy i use so if i go to my overhead okay let me see uh overhead 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 gui name tag thingy majingi so we're gonna actually use this uh this should be in replicated replicated storage this should probably be in the, where is it, a starter player, starter character script. We'll just ignore this for now. We're just going to use this name tag right here, or this name, name GY, uh, billboard GY. So this is actually, hold on, it's weird. Or it should be in the head. All right. So this is a name tag. Now, actually, well, this is a name name tag, so we're going to put another one for the rank so then rank right here the rank title or title is the rank title whatever let's call it title so this is a player's title let's put this a bit above the actual name so this is going to be the name and then we're going to have the rank title a bit above it and a smaller look let's make it whole second so i forgot where the hell actually let's make this smaller zero 0.5 then let's make this a bit higher up so 0 0.2 something that's two hmm yeah we should make this bigger let's see hmm oops let's see if I can make this all right Let's put this a bit lower now. Okay, maybe not this is too, too much. Let's see. Uh, if we make this a bit bigger, so in the billboard UI, the size of it, I'm probably change this. Um, uh, probably change this too. But again, this actually will. Ah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This is kind of confusing because I'm pretty much reusing a new template. So if we made change the size, uh, name name size so let's actually make this smaller so 0 0.5 then we're just going to make this even more smaller it's not gonna it's not gonna really matter that much okay then move this to the bottom okay so this is going to be our rank maybe this is too small but i don't know it doesn't really matter that much oh uh, Okay, so this is going to be our rank, right? And this is going to be our name. So let's change this just so we know this is our player's name. Actually, maybe this is too small. 
Yeah, maybe this is too small. Forget about it. This is too six. And the wrangles makes it a bit bigger. Let's change it back to the original thing. And actually, let's go to humanoid and display distance type. Set it to none. Okay. So this is the wrangles name. How do we change it when a player progresses? So let's say we have a point system or like a win system or a level system. Let's use a level system for this uh, tutorial. So level system gonna have a levels right and then basically a players progresses through levels the higher the level the better the title the player gets so let's say we start off now actually we can do a model script and we're gonna put all of our levels inside the model script I don't think you really need a model script but it's gonna help a lot in case you're using it like the level system a lot but it doesn't have to be a level system. It can be anything, really. It can be, like, um, the amount of wins. It can be the amount of coins you have, the amount of cash, the amount of points you have. It can be really anything. So it does not necessarily have to be uh, levels. But in this tutorial, we're just going to use levels as an example. So in this mod strip, we have the table, right? So we have this table right here. And then in this table, we're going to make a dictionary. Now, you can make your own dictionary like it doesn't have to be a model script inside a model script but we're going to use a model script just because it's a bit easier in case we're going to be using it a lot so now okay we're going to start with our first level so let's call our first level we're going to do two square brackets and quotes and then we're going to call this newbie and then set it to a table and this is going to be all of our properties for this uh, rank title. So this is our first rank title, which is going to be called newbie. So level, minimum level, actually levels, we should make a range. So range should be like from one level to another level. So let's say this. So level range equals math dot range, uh, number dot range, I think number range dot new and then it's gonna be one from level one to level five i know this is kind of weird but basically all number range does is makes a number range i think that's kind of self-explanatory but yeah that's pretty much it uh comma okay and then the next property is just gonna be a text color if you want it's kind of uh optional but text color makes it a lot better I think this is very similar to Club Iris, how the higher level you get, the different color of your text is, or, I don't know, you basically get a different text color for your level, I don't know, it's basically, if you play Club Iris, you kind of know what I'm talking about. Uh, then we do a color 3 values, color 3, and then you can do from RGB or color3.new, and then you just choose color. So, in this case, let's make it like a boring color, like light blue, because it's a newbie. And that's pretty much it. So we made our first um, first title. How, how do you, I mean, first title thingy. So this is our first rank title. It's going to be called newbie. And this is from level one to level five. So this is our new number range. So this is a level range. Now we can just make another one by copy and pasting. And that's pretty much it. All we have to do now is change the title. So. Let's make this, actually, let's make it simpler. So casual, so casual player. And then in this case, it's from, well, from one to five. Okay, so from six to 10. So from level six to 10 is a level range. And then we're gonna make a new color for this and it's gonna be like green. So this is our casual. And then let's make sure to have this comma to separate, uh, different rank titles so these are all the different rank titles and then it's copy and paste you can make as much as you want to make sure each of them are different so casual newbie then you can do like pro so this is from level 11 to level 20 and then pro would be like red and then you can make one more just so it's simple and it's going to be like I don't know, hacker. I don't know. What's a good uh, thing? Legendary. 
legendary player champion um yeah whatever but champion and it's from level 21 to like level 50 for example and then this is going to be like purple okay so these are all of our rank tiles of course you can make more as much as you want let's copy the same template now the reason why you put this in a modern script is so we can access it from a different script. And this different script is going to be in our starter character script. So actually, we already have a name tag script. That's from our template, our starter character template. So as you can see, so this starter character scripts. So whenever you have script in starter character scripts, it's going to be... So basically, what starter character script is, is whenever you have a script, it will be inside the player's character. So basically, every time a player resets, every time a player's character spawns or is added to the game, this script will run because it's inside starter character scripts. So you really don't need a loop or anything. You don't really need an event. You really need to just, it's very simple. You just have anything you want in here and then it will pretty much run every time a player is added or not players, not player added player's character is added so basically every time a player responds or when a for when a player first spawns in the game when they join the game this uh script will run so basically all we did here is make a name type clone and we parent it to the player's character which is basically what we just did right here in studio so all we did was have this dummy and we parented this name tag billboard gy to the player's head and that's all the script does so we're gonna put this back in replicated storage so let's actually make another variable for the new rank uh rank title gy blah 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 whatever it is so uh let's actually hmm that is weird name clone not name okay oh okay okay, okay. so let's say Let's make a variable for the rank title. So local rank title equals name clone, which is the, na the name billboard GUI, which is this right here. Name GUI is replicated, replicated storage at name GUI. So it's basically this right here. This is the name of the player, and this is going to be our rank title. So we made a variable for rank title. So name clone dot rank, or we just call it title. Okay. So now, actually, before we do anything, let's actually get our model script. So you know how I said the model script can be accessed from anywhere, right? From any script. We're going to do that by, first of all, get uh, make a variable, and then we're going to use require. So require, so let's say, uh, let's make this make this variable. Let's call it, actually, um, let's call this, let's name this uh, module script. So let's call this rank title. So local rank titles, local rank titles equals require. So this basically what it does is, is makes us or it gets a model script from anywhere. So we can just do game dot server storage and can actually get that because we are in a server script. Uh, not server store, server script service dot rank titles. So this is our model script. We use require to get a model script. And it doesn't really, I, mean, I think you can actually use require to get other stuff like other than a model script, but um, but yeah, you can get model script from using require. And all of this it makes us have access to whatever's inside this model script. So now we have as, access to this model script. Uh, let's actually go down here. And then what we can do is, hmm, actually we do need to make another thing, whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So, and we got our uh, thingy majingi, thingy majingi here, our variable for our rank title, our actual rank title inside the billboard GUI. So we'll do for IV. Now we can do use we can loop through the table or our dictionary, and then we're gonna see which uh, level. Oh, actually, first before we do anything. Yeah, before we do anything, we need to actually make a level system. So actually, before anything, uh, let's make a script. It's going to be a script, quick script. Um, we're not going to do a data store thingy just because I want to make it simple. So we're going to do 
uh, game the player the player added connect function. So this this is the event for when a player joins the game. You pretty much do this like hundreds of times. I mean, it's pretty much self spam. So we're gonna make a value for the level. So local, and we can make this leader stats first. A uh, leader stats folder. Leader stats equal instance dot dot new folder. Leader stats dot name equals leader stats. Leader stats is what holds all of our values and it makes it appear in the uh, player leaderboard right so whatever you see like stats inside the player like in the player leaderboard in the top corner that just means the stats are inside the leader stats folder at leader stats dot, dot uh, parent parent it to the player so this is the player that joins we use this inside the uh, brackets as a parameter now let's make the actual levels value so local level equal instance dot new number value level dot name equals level and level dot parent we parent it to a leader stats folder that's the point of making the leader stats folder okay so now we have the level All right, now we can just loop. So uh, what we can actually do? Local level equals. Uh, did we actually have a car in a car? Let's make a. Let's make a variable for the player. So local player equals game get pl oh game players game players get player from character and car. So that's the player we got from the character. So the character that's uh or the character the script is in. Alright. And now we can do local level equals player with a child leader stats and wait for child level. I think level with capital L. Okay. So now we can actually use this model script we got, rank titles. So for I, uh, title in pairs, rank titles, get children. This is the table or basically the dictionary that's in the model script. Do. So we're going to be looping through all of these. And we're going to check which level corresponds with each title. So, for example, if the player has level is level is between level one and five, we give it the newbie title. Otherwise, if it's from level six to ten, we give it the casual. If it's from level eleven to twenty, we give the player the pro title. And if the player is from level twenty-one to level fifty, we give uh, the player the champion uh, title. So we're going to check. So if title and then level range, I think they're the same. So level range, if title level, level range, or we can actually do, sorry. Uh, so if level, so level, this is, the, this is the player's level, that value is greater than equal to title dot level range dot min. And, and then we can copy and paste this. But instead, if it's greater than the minimum uh, level range and level dot value is less than or greater than the level range maximum. So basically, if it's in the range maximum, actually, I don't know if it's max or maximum. Let me just check this. Uh, so rank titles, the pro, that level range, that min. So this min and max. So not maximum, it's just max. And then, so basically all this does is it checks if the player's level is in one of these ranges. 
So whenever the script checks, so let's say, for example, the player is in this range from one to five in this level range. The player's level is between one and five. We give the player the newbie title. And in this case, we're going to loop through all of them. So it's going to be pretty efficient. All we have to do really is um, actually, so we have the name, right? So this is the name newbie and we got the title. So this is the rank title, the actual t uh, like text label. So we'll do rank title, rank title dot text equals title dot name, rank title dot text color three. Oops color three equals title dot text color and text color is the text color we made as a property for each uh, title rank title okay I think this is pretty much it now we do need to make another event in case of course the player is gonna oops what the hell does this happen in case the players levels up in the game right because the player you don't want the player always to reset now this is only when the player resets or the character the character of a player spawns it so you want to basically do the same thing when a player uh or a player of a player's level is changing so all we have to do really is actually we can copy and paste this or we can just do uh, another event inside this very script so we can just do like uh i wonder if we can actually do this you yeah, probably can so we're gonna do level level dot change connect function and then copy and paste the same exact thing we did here like that uh let's not save it yet but whatever <sighs> okay now let's actually see no i can just test this out let's just test that and see if it just works on the base level if there's no error at all i think yeah there is an error workspace that occur attempt to call a nil value name tag 23 uh rank titles Hmm, that's weird. Yeah, it is kind of weird, but what you can do. Hmm. That is weird. Uh... Oh, hmm. Maybe you do need to change this. I'm not sure. Rank titles. Hmm, that's weird. Our uh, model scripts are kind of wacky though, so. Yeah, I don't know. Uh... Hmm. That is weird. Okay, I think you might want to. Just make a dictionary in just a regular script. Because that is weird. Hmm. Attempt to call a nil value. Du, 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 du. This is 23. Oh. First of all, I did a, I made an accident right here, and I'm an accident right here. So this is for some reason. Um. Hmm. That's weird. Yeah, that is weird. Um. Yeah, that's interesting. Hold on, man. Oh, my bad, my bad. I think I yeah, not get children. You don't get children because it's already a table. 
my bad. So you just rank tiles because that's already a table inside the module script. So this is already a table. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Okay, this should I think this should be good now. Alright, what happened now? Let's see, let's see what happened now. Oh, I don't see an error. Okay, it does say rank, so it does the recur part work, so the name actual name tag works. Other than that, I don't see anything that's working. So it's actually, so we're actually level zero, so maybe that's why I just realized, let's actually edit this. So from zero to five, let's do control S for some reason. Okay, so let's see if this works now. Oh, it doesn't work still, so, oh my God. Hmm. Oh, okay, sorry, there's another, that is another text equal, I am supposed to sign property text string, but not, no, apparently that's a uh, title that name is nil, I'm not sure why. Hmm, that's interesting. Um, usually that would work, so if you put like, oh, that's weird. Yeah, that is weird. <laughs> okay, that's no problem. Let's make a it's another property for each title. Then do like uh, name equals and then new like that. Yeah, that's kind of uh, oops comma casual. So this is what you usually do, but I thought if you put the brackets and quotes like that it should um you should be able to like have a property for its name i, I don't know if that makes sense i don't know how to explain but whatever um but you can easily just make a name property for each one like this so that's no biggie and then use champion okay then let's do like name Right here, the name property we just made for each uh, title value. Let's see if this works. Minus doesn't work. Uh, okay, so it does work. So we have newbie. I think the text color glitched. Uh, okay, color things we got. No, that's also no for some reason. So it does work so far. Not with the text color. So title of text color. Uh, text color. Oops, my bad, my bad. Title of text color is text color with a lowercase t, and then that should be it. Oh my god, huh. Oh, there you go. Now it finally works. No error. Works completely fine. Okay. See, the thing is, I'm doing this completely uh, non scripted, non preset, if that makes any sense. But yeah, so, so far it works. Now let's actually make something that makes us get wins if that makes sense so let's make a system where we get levels or not wins because we're making uh levels but we can uh we can do wins if you want you can do re really whatever you want but yeah so let's say this is a level giver level giver let's give this bad boy a co oh, coin or click click detector inside this click detector we're gonna put a script and this script is gonna give the player wins so local uh local click detector go script the parent uh click detector dot click mouse click connect function and then this is the player inside this uh, in, in this parameter it's gonna be the player that clicked so player the leader stats dot level the plus equals one we give a player uh who clicked the part a level we make the player gain a level. So let's see how this works. So right now we're a newbie. And now, okay, let's make this bigger. So right now we are a newbie. 
Now, when you click this part, oh my god, I actually can't believe. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it was, uh, so it's actually that value. So the leader stats that value. I keep on pressing a uh, fucking uh, click that blah blah blah. Okay. So our level is zero right now. But right now we are a newbie. Now the more we click this part, we gain. We gain a level. Yes, sir. Let's go. Okay. Gain another level. Gain another level. Gain another level. Gain another level. Boom. Now we're a casual player. As you can see, now let's click on this more. Boom, now we're a pro. As you can see, uh, let's click a bunch more times. Now we are a champion. So yeah, this is pretty much how it works. If you guys want more tutorials like this one. Oh, I just realized the uh, rank title actually fits my outfit. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, definitely be sure to like and subscribe for more good tutorials. I know what I haven't posted in a while. I just kind of really ran out of ideas. But this was a pretty simple uh, tutorial to make. Um, definitely, I mean, it was kind of a uh, buggy <laughs> in the middle part. But yeah, I ran through a lot of errors today for sure. But yeah, that's still good so far. Uh, I definitely be, I'll definitely be sure to actually make a model for this, just because I I feel like it's gonna it's gonna be hard if you just followed my tutorial step by step because I made a lot of mistakes to be honest. So it's only fair to give you guys a model. Um, but I also want you guys to actually learn from the videos. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't want you guys to just get the model and not watch a single second of the video because you'll get lost easily like that. Uh, but yeah. If you want more suggestions, if you want, if you have good suggestions, um, definitely be sure to leave in the comments below. And I mean, good suggestions, right? Not like bad, like really bad suggestions. I mean, like realistic suggestions. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, pretty much that's it. And if you want, you can join our Discord. Uh, I don't really care about our Discord anymore. I don't really use Discord anymore. But whatever you want, sure, why not? And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.